Austin is home to lots of fun events from Formula One to ACL to South by Southwest. But if you're not careful, these live events could cause permanent hearing loss. Audiologist Laura Lane from Austin Regional Clinic joins us this morning to talk about how much noise is too much and how you can protect your hearing. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us again after a dozen years yeah. off. <laughs> so what, yeah, what is too loud for us? So the key is anything that's um, 85 decibels for eight hours can cause damage. And then every five decibels over that, we need a half the time of exposure before permanent damage can be done. Okay, but you know, the layman, we don't know what 85 decibels is. And we don't well, carry around. <laughs> so for reference, a lawnmower is 90 decibels and a rock concert can peak at over 120 decibels. Oh my goodness. So for example, a, a rock concert can do damage after just a few minutes of exposure. So the people at ACL? Damage. Permanent damage? <laughs> Permanent, yeah. I mean, it's the peak. So it's, you know, how loud the sound is for how long. It can peak at 120. At the speaker, it can actually peak at 140. And how can you tell, though, that you're losing hearing? Is it, it's just so slight, isn't it? Well, you know, when you leave the show, which I guess it's too late then, but when you leave the show, if you've got muffled hearing or ringing in your ears, that's a good sign oh, that yeah, you've that. damaged. <laughs> yeah. So the hair cells in the inner ear get damaged with that loud sound. And the, I think the thing to note is that it's it's permanent, and so um, every time we're exposed, you know, every event that we go to and we do damage, um, it's permanent and it's Yikes. cumulative. And so um, more and more hair cells get damaged each time. It's um, it's permanent and it's uh, it's you know I guess the point is it's not corrected by surgery or medication. Yeah, so it's bad news so it's just, for right. all of us. And okay, so are you seeing more patients? especially in light of uh, ACL and South by Southwest and all these you know, big events? <laughs> ironically, the answer is no. But I think the thing is, it's one of those things that, you know, little bits of hair cells are damaged bit by bit, and then by the time you're 40 and 50 and 60, you've done enough damage that it's, now right. it's time, and we're talking about hearing aids at that point because there's not any other well, then that's fix too for it. Right. right. So yeah. then what are we supposed to do right now? We're just supposed to wear, like, your muffs all the time? No. <laughs> well, there's a couple of things. There are so many different types of specialized um, earplugs. I mean, there's very good musicians' earplugs. Um, um, they preserve the fidelity of the sound. They're discreet. If you get custom-made earplugs, there's, I mean, there's custom molds for motorcycle riding. And then for certain events, you do need to wear muffs. Okay, like the F1 uh, qualifier that's happening later yeah. on today. And actually, with F1, the recommendation would be earplugs and um, noise-canceling ear muffs. And a hat. Yeah, and a raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, because the key is the F1, um, F1 used to peak at 145 decibels. In 2014, they did some changes to the engine. Now they peak at 134 decibels. Oh, okay. So, but 134, <laughs> really yeah, loud. permanent damage can be done after just a few moments of that type of exposure. So actually, a recommendation, too, is if you can just move yourself back from the track some and then take breaks because, again, it's how loud the sound is for how long. So if you can take breaks, and I guess I'd want to mention too with music streaming, we're listening to earbuds all the time. Oh, right. So if you can keep the volume range at 60 to 70 percent and then take a break every hour, you can preserve some hearing that way. You can okay. still enjoy your music, but preserve your hearing. That is, uh, that's good advice. Laura, thank Sign you so up. much for joining us this morning.